you are on your honeymoon. Is yeah. it? <laughs> well, I think I was just saying <laughs> it feels like I'm on my honeymoon still, but my wife couldn't come this time. She's Aww. she teaches dance at home and she's an amazing teacher and they have a big performance this week. Okay. So she wasn't able to come. So that's my plan is like if I can do a tour in the fall, I think it would be really cool to end in Indonesia and finally go to Bali and take my wife. Maybe we can go for a week and just enjoy a special vacation at the end of playing music for people. Yeah, cool. that's cool. If you want to have some Any recommendations yeah. about Bali? Just call me. Can I just call like the Prambors radio hotline and just say, hey, where should I go in Bali? <laughs> yes, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Prambors Radio Indonesia number one hit music station. Welcome, kalau muda. Selamat datang ke Prambors Music Invasion. This will be special for me. Like, we are in this pandemic situation for almost two years and... I always, always had an interview with a musician or artist through Zoom meetings. And this is the first time ever, after two years, I met a musician or artist in person. And it's Johnny Stimson here. <laughs> Hello, I'm so happy. Cool. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you again because, so kalau muda, um, like in 2019. Yeah. You came to Prambors office back then in Aditya Warman. Yep. Yeah, different office back different then. Different office. Yeah. This is the new one. Very cool here. I like the new one. Oh, so thank much. you. Yeah. So how are you? I'm doing so great. I feel like my heart is just bursting with joy right now because I feel the same way. I've been just sitting at home doing Zoom calls yeah. and stuff like that. And it's so refreshing to finally get to travel a little bit and see everybody's faces in person. It's so cool. That's so cool. Thank <laughs> you so much for coming here. Thanks for having me. This is my favorite radio station. You know? Oh, yeah. thank <laughs> <true>. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I look up into your social media. Yeah. I look up into your Instagram. Last week, you had two festival. You yeah. played in two festivals. The first one is Seoul Jazz Festival. Right. The second one is Java Jazz Festival. You played in front of, I think it's 10,000 yeah. people, right? I couldn't believe it. It was, it was crazy. It was so, so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Seoul loves you so much. And of course, Jakarta too. You know, I, I'm like feel like it's a dream come true because over the past couple of years in the yeah. pandemic I started noticing in social media like people from Indonesia, people from Korea, different places in Asia where I was just thinking when will the pandemic end because I really want to go and play and then I, I can't believe it the first time I get to come play I get to play the two most amazing festivals I've gotten to experience. Yeah, it's it was really a memory that I'll take with me forever. I even feel like I'm still at Java Jazz Festival right now. Yeah. I, I feel like we just finished two minutes ago. It was <laughs> wild. Yeah. So um, there's some viral moment in 2020, I think. Yeah. That V from BTS sings your songs. That was just amazing. I can't believe right. that. <laughs> just to know, because you know, I actually was a little bit of a fan of mm -hmm. BTS, and then and before when they came to the VMAs, mm -hmm. they did this musical performance, and I've been kind of following along since then as like a fan, and to see somebody who you admire so much, yeah. to share your song and even to sing along with my song, he's got this beautiful voice, and people shared it to me on Twitter. <laughs> it was surreal. Like I couldn't imagine anything that cool. I was trying to like when I was. In Korea like I wonder if I will see them on the streets but I guess I, I didn't see them <laughs> so and you are playing at Seoul uh, Jazz Festival yeah. in Friday right probably yeah. Jungkook from BTS was there too I heard that yeah oh, really? that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> that's pretty someone cool someone said he was watching us play too I was like wow that's just amazing I really do admire those guys and it's kind yeah. of an extra special feeling when it's another musician saying mm -hmm. like hey we appreciate the music that you make it's really feels great okay so after you perform at Seoul yeah. Jazz Festival you go all the way to Indonesia <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to play at Java Jazz Festival yes it was crazy We flew like we went off a stage at, in Soul Jazz Festival, right into a van, straight to the airport, overnight, all the way to Indonesia, and then it's like go right onto stage for Java Jazz right away. And I I can tell you like I was pretty tired after the flight. I was yeah. like, oh man, I don't know if I have all the energy, but I realized like being on stage. 
it is literally like that was where I was made to be. It made me feel so, so alive. Happy, yeah, right? I just it feels right for me to get to do that. So I'm I'm grateful that all the travel worked out. It was it was crazy a few days. So what did you miss the most about Indonesia? Oh my gosh, I think probably honestly, mm-hmm. there's so many people that I meet here that are just smiling immediately when I when I meet them. There's just like a friendly vibe. And I'm from Texas in the USA yeah. and like Texas is kind of known for people are friendly and they say hello to each other. And it's yeah. not like that in New York City and everywhere in the world. But I feel like very familiar and at home coming to Indonesia. I think this is I think my fifth time to come to Jakarta. Oh, and wow. I actually have made some really good friends. So even just already seeing a couple friends uh, that I missed during the pandemic and yeah. we would talk on the phone or something. But to see people um, again And it just feels like everything is right again, finally. Oh, nice yeah. to know. Yeah. Okay, so last month you released yeah. All I Want Is You. Yeah. The first song ever from Johnny Stevenson in 2022. That's right, yes. I have watched your music video. Yeah. And I think that, is it? A series coming from Johnny's world? Yes. Or something. That's so cool that you noticed that. I kind of haven't explained it all 100% yet, but yeah. I'll explain it to you right now. Okay, please. I'm <laughs> writing this album, Johnny's World. Yeah. And the idea came from, I have this little puppet named Gizmo. And the idea was that I feel like I'm growing up so fast mm-hmm. and I'm starting to write these songs that are like, about the emotions and feelings in my heart right now. One song this year is called The Way It Was Before. Yeah, and then, that's the first episode of Johnny's yeah, World. <laughs> episode one. And so I had this idea, like, what if I built a story around the whole album and each song will have it on its own episode. So we've already mm-hmm. filmed episode three because, you know, at the end of All I Want Is You, it's like, I'm so happy. Finally, I'm going to tell the girl, like, I love you. All I want is you. And then I knock on the door and she's and not she's there. she's left. Yeah. And to so chase I, her dreams, right? I kind of said, you know, to be continued for the next episode. <laughs> episode and I have a whole plan for this entire album is going to be episodes one at a time and the idea with the puppets you know it's it's I'm pretending to be a guy like on Sesame Street or the Muppets mm-hmm. where yeah. I, I'm on this TV show and I'm just trying to explain like the feelings in my heart as it growing into an adult but Gizmo kind of represents like me as a kid like so I'm singing songs to my younger self for this mm-hmm. album and just exploring like where it takes me has been A, a really cool journey so far. I'm excited to share the next songs with you. Okay, yeah. so is the next song will released soon? Yes, it's going to be, I think in about a month. Uh, I don't have exactly the release date mm-hmm. yet, but um, I can tell you the title. The song is called You're Not There. You're because, Not There. You know, I knock on the door yeah, at the yeah, ep- yeah. in the episode and I'm surprised to find she's not there. And this is kind of a sad song. And, you know, it's I'm putting it into the con- context of Johnny's World, the episodes. But it's this song coming up is really one just about missing somebody that you love. Because I think during the pandemic, we all were missing each other. And right. we even maybe lost family members or friends. Yeah. And um, so it's kind of a sad song that I just wrote for that emotion. And I hope that it may be um, meaningful to somebody out there. Yeah. I I I am so scared that will be so emotional for me if I oh. listen like <laughs> month later. Yeah. Hopefully to me it's like sometimes a sad song is some is exactly what you need because yeah. it helps in the like healing process sometimes. Yeah. yeah and it helps yeah. for me. I hope so. Yeah, I hope you will like it. <laughs> okay, so Uh, we have passed the pandemic situation after two years. What was yeah. the most significant wow. changes Wow! from Johnny Stimson? That's a cool question. Thank you for asking me. I can see there's significant changes. We're in a new office in Prem. Yeah, or of course. <laughs> But for, for my life, actually a lot changed because I used to be living in the same place with my wife, Bethany, mm-hmm. a small apartment, and I was making music in my, in my apartment and all the neighbors I'm just very loud in the apartment, okay. so I've always felt bad. And we moved into a new house, and that's been a really big change. So it's just me and Bethany and our little dog, and I have kind of a new studio. And that's that's been a really big life change, just learning how to um, manage something like that and feeling like I'm growing up a little bit. But uh, the other thing is I just decided during the pandemic like I could either sit around and be sad or I could try to write a lot of music and write what I'm feeling and learn more about music production yeah. so that was another significant significant part is I just practiced producing music a lot and I feel like I'm I'm still learning but I have gotten even better over the time so I'm more excited than ever to share new music with everybody that I've been working on 
Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Beware, Kaula Muda. Next month, new song release coming from Johnny Stimson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got new hobby? New hobbies? You know, I think I kind of doubled down on my one of my favorite hobbies is running. Mm-hmm. And so during the pandemic, like, yeah. it's just so much time alone in the house. Mm-hmm. And once it was, you know, acceptable to go outside and, you know, be out after the very beginning of the pandemic, yeah. I just started running and running more and more. Oh, and wow. I think that has been good for me. It's good for my mental health to exercise and uh, just get out of the house that way during the pandemic. But I also got a Nintendo. And so I played a little bit of Super Mario Bros. Super you know? Mario. <laughs> yeah. uh, did, did you play... What the oh, game? In Princess Nintendo? Peach? No, Animal Crossing. Oh that no, that was so big. I, it was back huge. Then. I have so many friends that did it, and I, I saw like I was reading about it on the internet. And I thought if I do Animal Crossing, like I may get stuck inside the Nintendo. I may I need to like push it away for a while and write, <laughs> write more songs. You know, <laughs> so no Animal Crossing for me. Me too. I got some new hobbies. Okay, what you pandemic. do? Playing games, just like you. Really? But What's your favorite one? Um, I love 